Hello everyone, kia ora koutou from New Zealand Aotearoa, uh, this is Stephanie Parasha, Divine Light, and uh, it's good to be back with you again, I've had a little bit of a gap, uh, I've been doing, you know, busy stuff, as I am, uh, us mums who work full time um, will probably know, so anyway, I really wanted to sit down this morning and meditate and check in and tune in and write down some words around the Twin Flame journey, the Lightworker journey, if you're tuning into this. And uh, yeah, so I wrote down some things and let's get into it. Uh, the first word that I wrote was self-healing. So I, I just went for a walk down the beach. I tried to record a video down there, but it was a little bit too noisy, unfortunately. I'll put some pictures there of my walk, though. Um, it, was, it was beautiful down at the beach. And as I was walking along, I was thinking about Twin Flames, and I got a sense that there was a little bit of distance. There's, it feels like to a lot of people that there's a bit of a separation. We've been sort of doing our own individual uh, sort of journeying and, and healing on our own. So there is a real feeling that that is really the energy right now, as I, as I just sort of touch down on the energy of where we're at right now. What we have been doing and what we continue to do and I know this is not the fun stuff, but hey, I'm sorry. Um, just the messenger. So uh, old traumas, wounds, clearing templates, old beliefs, core wounds. They're still really getting cleared out. We're still going down into the depths. There's a lot of what I'm hearing the word shutdowns and resets. So yeah, however that sort of comes across to you, that would have its own meaning. So we're sort of and in a lot of ways we need to just kind of really wind down and we need to start again. We're seeing that with, we're getting those energetic um, 3D physical manifestations of pandemics and the floods and the disasters and these crazy weather patterns and shootings um, and really, really, really heavy going stuff that's going on that's really shaking people to really see that it's crumbling, you know, and what some of the bigger picture stuff and, and I've started to write something to the side and then I can see how that links back in later when I talk about um, some of the other things that Twin Flames are out there doing, Lightworkers are out there doing. So some of the big things that are getting looked at are always the, the gender roles, um, the race issues of race and ethnicity, the difference and diversity, um, the judgments that we've held, we've um, the bigger picture of collective nar narcissism where we've got colonisation and religion and all those big kind of energies of the certain way that, you know, I'm just going to say it, kind of like the white is right uh, attitude and that privilege and entitlement of, that goes with that and the money and the power leads us into social justice. So um, things like this, I mean, I am hearing the words new world order and I don't even really know what that is. I haven't looked into that. I am not, don't belong to anything, honestly. I'm just a one woman show over here. I really have distanced myself from anything that's kind of like that because I've encountered what I've would term religious cultural abuse and um, manipulation uh, when I lived in India over 10 years um, living within a Hindu family and um, just you know I'm not saying that it's all bad I don't want to check out the you know good stuff because there's a lot of really beautiful things that I learned from India and I honestly really love India and I love the people of India I love most things about India so I'm sorry if that immediately came across as me being uh, negative, but what I'm trying to talk about is that the aspects of the culture and the religion that take away people's freedoms and rights and kind of use fear to make people behave in certain ways and some of the priests that sort of put on the guilt and for saying things like, oh, if you don't give this money, your ancestors won't really be looked after properly and yeah, <laughs> those kind of things, you know. And their kind of system, which is a system where you have to go through all these steps in order to get to God, you know, you can't just have your own direct line, you've got to go through these priests. So I'm really sort of, you know, adverse to anything that kind of makes you feel that you're under some kind of regime or I'm all about freedom but I also am about respect as well so we need to respect each other as humans and I think a lot of us are part of this new generation that's wanting to be created we are, we're kind of bridging and the old and the new are kind of crossing over at the moment. So the old is on its way out. A lot of that generation are, are leaving us now. We're getting 
the the 40 to 50 year olds that are coming through that's my generation I see myself as a bridger uh, and we are all about that crossover that standing on that bridge and we the one we are you know the ones they call us also Gen X is I think it is Gen X yeah and we are kind of the tough ones I guess we were the last that didn't have internet you know we we were able to run around on the streets outside and we had those kind of telephones we had to dial a little dial thing and um you know so most of my life my early 20s and childhood there was no internet we just had a tv and we had limited hours that we were allowed to watch that tv and we had vhs and um you know but a lot of stuff was also being brought out in the 80s during that time when there was there was also a push around gender and sexuality at that time and that was the first so we're kind of part of that first wave I, I would see of well not it may not be a first wave because I know that even before us there was kind of like what you call the hippie 1960s and in every generation the light workers and the twin flames are really part of that social justice we're here to help others we're here to help improve um, health and well-being for others we help here to help heal things that cause us pain and cause others pain um you know we're seeing those bigger picture things coming up in the media now you know you can't help but see um all the trials of what's going on with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard I've got my own views on that I'm not here to get into a discussion around that but I can see what if you can really understand emotional um abuse yeah, I, I feel like that's what's going on in that situation. And, and I see another famous couple where that is also being brought out into light. And that is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And again, really big in the media and these kind of, I mean, I'm just going to name it, these types of behaviours which are narcissistic that these couples seem to be engaging in. And we're seeing those behaviours coming out really to the forefront in, in the media and they're public so we can really see them we can see about relationships and how there's the control and the power and the manipulation that's subtle that we've needed to expose because it's not just about physical abuse it's not just about the male being stronger physically therefore assigned the role of the abuser and you know that's the other side of it where we've got to look into where those gender roles can actually be flipped and manipulated with then the man because he's always been the abuser when you've got a female abuser she can easily assign that role to the male and people will believe it more because of what's already out there so I want, I'm really big about exposing uh, the female narcissistic behaviours that uh, any narcissistic behaviour to be honest any narcissistic behaviour I feel like we're also kind of light workers we're meant to come in and kind of challenge that put boundaries in boundaries is another big word I see that we're all learning about how to put in boundaries around ourselves and where we have possibly grown up in homes where we were had our boundaries crossed we had our power taken away from us we might have been abused by people that were stronger than us and that's across the board so I'm seeing that across the board that's in an individual that's on a collective basis when we saw also the imbalance of power over indigenous races and that is now also for the um another kind of political thing that's happened is Australia have elected a new prime minister and he has already acknowledged the nations the indigenous nations and that's just such a huge step forward and even as I say that ooh, yeah it makes me emotional guys so uh, there's a lot of change happening and change in our world and we're bringing that in and we're responsible for that so it is quite big so Ooh, can you feel it? Okay, well, let's do a little quiet meditation and then I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for listening. Um, just take a few deep breaths now with me and remember that meditation and mindfulness is also a really beautiful tool for getting ourselves centered throughout the day. I call them little micro breaks, little micro meditations and where I just take a couple of deep conscious breaths. We'll take one big deep breath in and another one out and we'll do that another couple of times at the right rhythm and pace that is for your body and then as I leave you just you can um, allow yourself give yourself some time to just sit calmly and sit quietly and just enjoy that relaxation and that is good for us when we can do that you know we haven't been taught that we've been taught to be busy and rushing around all the time 
and actually that's not that productive um, it can burn people out and if we just take little micro rests throughout the day and just do some conscious breathing conscious meditation mindfulness maybe a little exercise or an activity um, I really highly recommend this I'm actually teaching this to young women in a well-being group that I do for my my full-time job as a social worker and so, you know, wherever you can bring it into your day, wherever maybe you can introduce these things into your workplace or your um, where it's important for you at the home, maybe even with your kids um, at home as family, just to kind of calm everything down, give people a break and a moment to learn how to breathe properly. Because one of the tools, free and easy and will help everybody's well-being. Okay, thanks everyone for listening. Um, bye for now.